my neighborhood is full of a lot of people. If you go on the corner right now, we're in my house now, if you go on my corner right now, there's about 10 guys standing on my corner. And they're just holding the walls up, and they're cool. I like them. But one of the things about their lives that strikes me is that sometimes their lives can be kind of narrow. What I mean is that they don't know anything past our corner. And I like to know things. I like to know what's going on in Africa. I like to know what's going on in India. I want to know how that affects me, because it does. And I like to be... The word is worldly. I like to know about my surroundings. I like to know about new music. I find out about music before a lot of my friends. That's one of the things that my friends will always be like, man, where you get that CD from? I find out about it because I make it my business to go and find out and read about music so I can know what the newest latest is. And all of that is part of my world of reading. Like my world of reading, reading touches every part of my life. It touches when I go play ball, because I read books sometimes about ways to make myself a more effective ball player. Um, it touches the way I paint. I mean, here it, here it is something that has nothing to do with paint, like painting in some ways has nothing to do with reading in any kind of direct way, but I read books about painting. I read books about artists and how they live their lives. There is no part of my life that I can imagine without reading. If something breaks in my house, I don't call my landlord because my landlord is slow. I like him, but he is slow. I usually go get a book, figure out how to fix it myself. And in that, I find that reading touches every part of my life. And it makes my life better. In the end, I know that I'm a better person and my life is better because I take the time and do the work of reading.